Welcome to the for the demonstration of RFID and ESP32 camera based attendance logging system along with photo capturing. So with the help of this RFID reader, we are going to identify the student number with help uh, from this RFID tags. And at the same time, Arduino you know, will store the particular tag number at which time it was shown and the time will be captured from this DS1307 RTC module and these two numbers along with RFID tag number and the time and dates will be stored inside this memory card and the next the same time the system will capture the photo of the person who showed the RFID tag along with the tag number we are going to uh, store his photo so the photo name is going to be the tag number only so that will be stored inside this memory card so in this ESP32 camera memory card we are storing the photos and the photo name is going to be the shown RFID tag number and in this memory card we will store, uh, store the which tag was shown at which time and the so called status continuously displayed on this 16 by 2 uh, LCD screen so all the input and output modules interface to the Arduino Uno board so in our project input modules are like RFID reader that is EM18 RFID reader module and DS1307 uh, RTC module and the output module is like ESP32 camera for photo storing purpose and uh, memory card for data storing along with the date and time and the LCD screen which will show the status of the project output and all this interface to the UNO board and coming to the interfacing connections LCD interface to the uh, interface to the pin number 2 to pin number 7 and ESP32 camera interface at the pin number 1 and RFID reader at pin number H and 10, 11, 12, 13 pins for this memory card and RTC module at pin number A4 and A5 so these are the main interfacing connections to the UNO board so let us see the demonstration so just on the power supply to the kit and wait for the welcome message and you can see uh, whenever you show the tag so there is a uh, flashlight will indicate the photo got captured so as of now the time is 151 and June 2023 and when we show the tag here, so you can observe on the LCD screen. So there will be beep initially and the tag number. Right, you can see the flashlight coming from this uh, ESP32 camera and data storing also seen on the LCD screen. So for every like tag showing purpose, we should give around of 5 seconds of time gap between the uh, tag input to the RFID reader module. When you show that, the buzzer beeps. You can hear now. And also LED indication which uh, that is a successful execution of the RFID reader and it will send the RFID tag number to the Arduino you know and then when we got the valid tag number then first of all it will store that inside the memory card and then it will inform to the ESP32 camera to capture the photo and that photo will be coming with RFID tag number only. Right. So before switch on the gate, wait for 5 seconds in order to uh, provide the time to store the particular image inside the memory card. And after that, let us uh, show the memory card output in the laptop. So for that purpose, you can just switch off the power supply. Right. And uh, push to unlock memory card. And this also unlock. So keep it here and don't misplace the memory cards now let us uh, see the outputs in the laptop now let us connect the ESP32 camera memory card into this and then we can see the images over here so this JPG format images previously we have tested the new images or the new uh, desktop we tested one so in order to show the image just rename that and add JPG to that end of this file this JPG and you can see that so these are the images we have received while we are testing and uh, this one also h dot jpg <coughs> right so these are the images while we are testing from the table dot jpg right okay and the next let us see I can uh, format this or else you can let them as it is now I am ejecting that now let us see the now memory card uh, notepad data now, right so this is data.txt so when you open that there we can see the tag number at which time the person got 
shows his tag. This is tag number one at 151, 151, and 152. So, so these are previously tested data. So you can, if you want, you can erase this totally format, or else you can keep it as it is. So like this, we have uh, stored the uh, photos. So the photos purpose is like if is there any like a uh, proxy happen while well, uh, attendance, then the system will capture the proxy person along with the original tag number so that we can prevent the proxies also in this manner thank you